Well, Samus, looks like it's just you and me tonight. I'm, like, scared. Like, this whole time, I've been, like, so excited to get to the final boss. On account of, on the hot factor. But now that I'm actually on the precipice of this, I'm, like... I'm scared of the difficulty that that's going to come with, with the territory. I mean, I don't know, people have talked up bosses in the past and sometimes it delivers and sometimes it doesn't. It's a little scary. It's crazy to think that this is still only like, like a 52% completed save file. I'm probably gonna get like 60 tops, but probably something below that, I don't know. Anyways, last time we got the, the super duper bomb, and, and I'm a little confused by it, because you need ammo for it, and you find the ammo in places where you would need, I don't know. Like, there's one, there's one location that comes to mind, like, right away, and it's like, oh yeah, you gotta use ammo to get ammo, and I don't get it. Uh, I think it's in Dairon, though, isn't it? There's, like, some little ledge in an Emmy zone that, like, has a thing on it. Although I'm sure if I can find... Yeah, here! Look at this! You gotta get a power bomb tank. But to get in, you need to use a power bomb. So what... So what's up with that, huh? Anyways, um... Adam said that these are going to be the key to, to kicking ass, so... So maybe I, sh I should look for those. Hmm... So what's up here? It looks like this is where I would want to go next. Wait, what? You can just recharge your bombs whenever you want? I thought they were like, like a permanently depletable resource, and that's why you need to do the backtracking. I guess the point of those, you know, it's like finding a missile upgrade or a health upgrade where it's like, it just increases your maximum capacity. Now that I know that, though, I think I actually like the idea of that more. That's kind of cool. I thought we were already on the surface. How high up could, could there possibly be to go? Here? Oh. Also, I can do that now. I have an attack where I can just jump into things and they die. It's awesome. So what's going on here, huh? Because the map, I'm looking at the map, and it... What? More question marks? I thought I already got all the things. There's literally no more slots left, even. Oh, I get it. Okay. I mean, I'm already up here, so I probably don't need to use those, but it's good to know. <gasps> this is probably how you open the door. I can't believe we're, like, actually on the surface! That's the sky out there! But yes, last time you learned that there was a, a sexy sky palace that we get to go to, and I would really like to see it. I would like to see it. Guys, I love me some, some good rain. Some- <gasps> Uh-oh. That's right, there was a red one of these before. That was the second one that was foreshadowed at the start. I'm only, like, halfway through this, I guess. But it's okay, I'll just suck out its life force as well, maybe. Is this one gonna be even harder than the last one? God, he can get it. The golden black shield, let's go. Oh! Oh! Wait. Do the missiles even damage it anymore? I feel like I should be looking for a white flash, but that's not what I'm seeing. I might have to counter this. I don't think I'm doing any damage here. It's too strong. I can't tell if this is supposed to be like a, a Ludo narrative thing where I'm like supposed to be losing right now. But I think whatever strategy I was relying upon where I just like spammed missiles at the shield until it broke is uh, not going to be the sort of thing that can work out for me anymore. Unless the shields have just had no telegraphs of whether or not you're damaging it the whole time. And I'm overreacting over nothing. I don't know if it's gonna break, I gotta keep trying though. 
Some cost, baby. It's what I'm all about. Or, you know, I could just counter those things for once in my life. It'll feel good to do it. I know it will. But it won't for me. Okay, so here's here's my question. When there's like a lot of steps to the telegraphing of that of that attack, they slam the shield on the ground, and that's when you see the sparkle. And then a few seconds later, they, they rush you. And my question is, do I want to counter the rush, or do I need to be like right up next to them when they do the initial slam? I really don't know, but I think me putting off learning how to counter these. Oh shit, oh shit! Oh, you gotta grapple it! Okay, okay, you definitely need this then. This needs to happen. Did I have it? I'm not, I haven't tried using the, the grapple during combat before, so there's a couple of extra steps to this that I don't know. Yeah? Yeah? No. I can get on this side. I feel a little cornered over here. I can go all the way to the corner. Is this working? Oh, you have to hold Y and then yank. Okay. I think I get it now. Now I can do the damage. The damage of my dreams. I don't know though, something tells me that this is going to be like the last of these that I'm going to be going up against, so I wouldn't expect Invincible Shield to be the only trick this is going to have up its sleeve. The last one was pretty tricky and I think this one's going to up the ante even more. Oh, it's going to blast me! Okay, okay. You know, considering how much damage I was taking earlier just in the phase of trying to get the shield off, I'm lasting a lot longer than I thought I would, honestly. Oh! Was that two bars all at once? Like, two bars of damage in one hit. Is that what that was? Did I see what I think I saw? That can't be. There's no way I could do that much damage at once. There's no way. That would be simply ridiculous. I just like to see it hit that pose with the lightning. You know how it is. Ooh. Endgame Pog Champ. Oh, I'm glad you're here for this one, Sam. Look, I'm learning how to take the shield off. It's so cool. It is actually very nice not having to, like, expend a bunch of missiles right off of the- right off the bat. Had I done that earlier when it wasn't necessary, that really would have, like, moved the pace of those mid-battles against these guys along quite a bit. And it's, like, not even that hard to do. Like, I was scared of doing it because the penalty for not learning was so bad. But man, once it clicks, it really clicks. I think I made a much bigger deal out of it than I needed to. I gotta like hyper focus for this shit. I'm so scared. Really? This wasn't even that bad. I'm so strong, I'm absorbing it. 
And I'll get stronger! Proceed. Wait, did I- I'm gonna point at my health bar right now. Did I just get an extra hundo? Or did I just, like, refill my gauge? Because I think I have more purples than I than I just did, but maybe I'm misremembering. Because it was just empty-ish. He's become a gaming warrior. I'm a little impressed with myself. I was expecting that to take, like, a, like a half hour. I'm like, oh, no. I'm gonna start the stream banging my head against a wall. Anyways, this looks like an elevator to... To Ravenbeak's sexy sky palace. It's even like more luxurious than all the other elevators. Look at this. <gasps> it goes off screen. Oh my god. Iterash. <laughs> Take a fucking seat, babes. It's oh my god. It's so decadent. Holy shit. This rules. This fucking rules! I love that they made a unique elevator! Okay, time to turn off the Jurassic Park music! I gotta get out of my fucking Bakugan sphere. So I think this- oh, wow. Look at the colors. That's like a nice sky. Uh-oh. I think I'm supposed to go up there, but I don't want to go up there yet. Maybe I'll see like, oh, that's the screen! He was looking at me on a screen! That's, that's the one! I don't know, it didn't look very big on the map. Did not look very big on the map. I think as soon as I go up there, like, this is it. Huh. That's me, that's my helmet right there, on the screen. What functional interior design purpose does this serve? Maybe this is how, like, you know, it's like a fan. It's a little hot in here. Turn the fan on. I don't know. Eh? This is like a shortcut, maybe? This feels like the sort of city place where they would put blocks, but I suppose not. Oh. Oh! I'm so squirmy! That's me, smile. Oh, it's a save room. Guess that adds up. Guess it all adds up. <sighs> I'm not ready. I was good at the last thing, but I'm not gonna be good at this thing! Let's just say I'll be, uh... I'll be, uh, too distracted. I wanna save the fact that I touched all those squares. If I can't get all the items, I sure as hell can get all the squares in this room. Oh god. Eh. I keep thinking every single one of these rooms is going to be the, the, the final boss chamber. I still don't know what to- huh? Do I shoot this? Flash it? Missile it? Scan it? Huh? Pitfall blocks? Why pitfall blocks? Maybe I gotta super bomb it. Oh god. That didn't seem like a, a wise thing to do. But I can get up here now. <gasps> it's another elevator? What? Oh no. It's gonna invent another new province. Oh, hi, Adam. I wasn't expecting you to be here. Uploading data. Oh, guys, this is going to be our last, like, iPhone 4 a series. ...has caused you to become a Metroid. What?! Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Does this mean that I can't crawl anymore? Your Fofa genes must have slowed down the process. My who now? the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Man, this feels so important. I wish I knew what any of this shit meant. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a Fofa. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Metroids are programmed to identify Machin as enemies. This suggests one thing to me. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beat's attack. <gasps> His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Oh my god, it's pretty jargony for longtime fans, too. 
Mm, I don't know. The little that I do understand seems like pretty major, and I think it's cool. So I assume that the rest would be cool if I understood it. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. Oh my god. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a great threat to the galaxy. What? Is Adam gonna like try to kill me now? However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. Hmm. Wasn't like the director of the Metroid series saying that like this was like the end of the story as we knew it and they were gonna like kind of turn a new page and start doing new shit and going in a new direction with the series from this point on i think this is a i think this is kind of that inflection point you have followed my instructions faithfully so far continue to do so it's that simple am i really gonna fight adam for your performance here on ZDR, highly satisfactory as i hope it has even awakened your metro powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. What? That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Submit. Not Siri! My plan is the only way to bring order to the galaxy. Sorry, you're just a sphere. The Emmys are hotter. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated. Oh my god. Why? In the save room? <gasps> That's a big heart. He's he's got a lot of love. What? Yeah, that's like literally at least 12 foot feet tall, if not more. Oh my god! Look at that stance. Look at that walk. I don't even mind getting my ass kicked. What am I, what was I so afraid of? Look at the size of his legs. Oh my god, the impacts are so hard. I love his, like, flowy cape and his robes. Holy shit! Black hole! I can shoot it? Oh my god. I'm already almost dead. I've barely done anything. Yeah, he, like, he's got a flash dash too. Except it's, like, offensive, it's cool. Oh. Oh. I mean, you're a little better at avoiding those, I guess. Oh. I thought that the little expanding arc attack was what destroyed the black hole. I think it just happened to do that at the exact same time as those two th other things connected. The sheer power. So, uh, you seen anyone? <laughs> Twirls my hair. <laughs> this is fucked. Samus has just gone rogue. Oh, uh, we're just fucking in it now, boys. Yeah, okay. At least you get like a lot of ammo from it, though. God, he's animated so cool. Love the way he moves. Just really, really strong posing and keyframing. It would be nice if I could get out of here, though. I don't think I'm even doing any damage right now. It doesn't feel like it. Didn't didn't Adam say that the the this was the only way to beat him? Something weird like that. Does that work? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't got a clue, dude. God, that confident walk. Jeez, the hit stop with that getting pinned against the wall? Oh. Need that image of the extremely tall lady pinning the extremely small lady against the wall. Big mood right now. I don't 
don't even know if it's working or not! Usually there's more of like an obvious white flash when you're doing damage, right? But he's got like a like a glow around him, so like I can't say for sure. I love the colors of the sky that they chose for this arena too. It's a really gorgeous set piece. I still don't know how to avoid that one. That's some taboo shit. Quick, Samus, you gotta use your dodge roll! Make sure not to trip. Ravenbeak, what thick thighs you have today! It's weird seeing how good this game is, considering how I've heard that Mercury Steam's non-Metroid games are not very good. I mean... It's not like this is the first time they've made something good. I mean, Samus Returns, the point of that was that it was, like, a proving ground for an original project, so... I mean, the way I understood it is that this was, like, a... like, a co-developed effort between Mercury, Steam, and Nintendo. Because if not, I have no idea why they have... like, the people who have been involved with the Metroid series this entire time, speaking on behalf of Mercury Steam and not the Mercury Steam people. But I'd like to hear more from them, you know? This is, like, damaging though, him, though, right? Like, if there's anybody who's, like, actually done this boss, like, I'm, do I'm doing okay so far? I get the impression that the, the red glowies are supposed to be telegraphing to me things about their their state of vulnerability, perhaps. Yeah, I was like behind that. I don't get how that works. I don't. I don't. I. I don't know. Like he goes purple. He goes red. What does it mean? Does it like now I have to hit with the wave beam or something? I don't know. I've got theories, but <laughs> this isn't exactly the kind of welcoming ground to test them out that I was hoping it'd be. Oh, I think I have to crouch or roll up into a ball or something like that. Whoops. You're not damaging him. You have to counter him to disable his shield. Oh, no! Well, good to know. Good to know. I'd like to think, though, that if I did have to hit him with missiles, that I was doing a very good job of it, as it stands now. Ow! Ow! He doesn't even twinkle! You have to counter him? Oh, that's the one. That's the one. I did see a twinkle on that one. so effortless for him. It's so brutal. Yeah, I don't think we're getting to anything else tonight. I really don't. When he does the purple shockwave attack, you have to morph ball, and that'll give you a free opportunity to counter. Okay, that's good to know. When his fist glows red, you can also counter that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ow! Shit, here we go! Oh, he's so fucking cool. He's so fucking cool. So basically what you're telling me, if he's Samus' father, he has fucked a human before, and he will do it again, if I have anything to say about it. 
Did I do it? Oh! Guess not. But I see what you mean about the opportunity. Like, that's a really big, obvious window. This music is great, too. Fuck! That feels so good to pull off! Oh my god. It looks like only during that cutscene you can damage him, though. It doesn't really work anywhere else. You get, like, a lot of health back from doing that as well. Yeah, being lured into that cone, and then him following up with a lot of damage right afterwards is, like, really, really nice. Okay, so it's not quite as easy of a window I was, as I was hoping. Like, it's not a freebie, just because you duck. You still gotta work for it a little bit more. But yeah, he'll, like, get you, like, right afterwards if you're not careful. Lord knows I'm not. Extra health there is nice. I'm not doing so hot right now. Yes! <laughs> Did I just punch him in the cock? Oh! <gasps> ah! Oh, he's so hot! Hi, how many phases? Oh my god! This is literally the closest I'll ever get to just having him whip his cock out. Oh my god! Nobody told me he was this hot! Jesus Christ! I can't focus on this! I can't pay attention fighting a baddie like this! Oh my god! At least I can shoot him normally now. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I'm shooting a little a fucking bright pink laser of my own right now. Holy shit! Holy shit, dude! Oh my god! That's his ultimate fucking attack! Just distracts you! Oh my god! Fuck! <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me get in the elevator. Let me get in the elevator. Um, let's see. Oh wait, no, I have a I have a better one. Don't even ask. Ah, that's better. Alright. <laughs> Alright, time to try again. <laughs> Please let me see the big sexy wings again. Smile, 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 smile. Oh my god, I need to draw Yowie of this man right now! The instant I'm putting down the controller, I'm picking up the tablet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> His dick is huge. I know it is. I know it is. It has to be. I know it is. Ow! I'm trying to shoot your hole! There it is! Okay, we're back on track, we're back on track. Ravenbeak is a hundred thousand times cooler than Ridley. A hundred thousand times more fuckable, too. Is there, like, a Ridley, like, fan base? Is there, like, a subsect of Metroid fans that do to Ridley what weirdos do to Bowser? I feel like there's a community for that, but I don't know. Duck! There it is! There's the counter! Oh, it feels so good! I love that the final boss this time around is a Chozo warrior just like Samus instead of just Big Monster. Yeah, it's really cool! They're going for a lot of interesting ideas this time around. And I love that they have the freedom to do it. What the- what was that shit?! 
What is happening right now? Ow! Thank you. I mean, thank you. Thank you, actually. I mean, thank you. God, he's so hot! <laughs> I can't do it! I love that we finally get to see Living Chozo in-game for the first time. Yeah, it was my understanding that that was a big deal. I know people were mad about Kraid being in the, the trailers, but the fact that there was like an on-screen show is I'm like... That's kind of like major, isn't it? Nice cock cock. Oh, I, you know what? I guess. I guess. You know, I'm surprised nobody's tried to ruin Ravenbeak for- Ow! I'm surprised nobody's tried to ruin Ravenbeak for me yet by comparing him to fucking Scratch from Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. And then every time I say something horny about him, somebody in chat just goes, bah, bah, bah. Duck? Good. Counter? Good! Okay. I love the funny little snowflakes that come off of the particles when you use the ice missile. Whoa! The Ziggy Zeggy? Ow. Okay. He's so fast! He always follows it up with that shit without fail. Yeah, I was gonna say that that feels very countery. You just gotta like kind of, based on where he's positioned in the room relative to you, you can kind of get a sense of when he's about to trigger it. I need to see those wings bust out again. Oh my god. He's gonna make me work for it. As much as for certain. Oh, come on! What is this? Oh, uh oh, here we go. Here we fucking go. Yeah, okay. Here, here comes the Baha Bahas. I feel like I'm about to do that <laughs> that auto dial 911 thing. <laughs> They're such detailed wings too. Like they're so gorgeously animated. Fucking blast me! I can barely last in this phase is the thing though, it's so sad. You gotta like go in a circle all the way around him, it's crazy. Run towards him when he beckons you like that, you won't regret it. Alright, alright. I just like to watch you guys. Aw, oh, Danny. Please go to your room now. Oh, Denny. Oh, Denny boy. Denny. Sweet Denny. Boy, I hope he doesn't do anything sexy when I try to run to him when he does the come hither gesture. Here it comes. This is it. There it is! 
Yeah, I'm getting much, much better at reading when that's coming, for sure. There's literally no reason to be shooting at him, but I still have, like, the irrepressible instinct to do it anyways. Did I get hit or did I hit it? It could have... It was too close to tell. Yeah, once you do the flip, I don't think you can get any extra shots in. That was a freebie. Probably could have countered that. So does the color of the shield mean anything for the time being, or does it just do that? Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. Oh, I missed it! I missed it! It would have been cool! Chat was telling me uh, a stream or two ago that there was like some really cool counter shit that you could have done with the, uh, the third major boss that I missed out on. So I really want to make sure that I don't miss out on that. But uh, this strikes me as the sort of thing that's like a million phases and is going to take me like seven hours to beat. So I'm sure I'll have a lot of opportunities. Like now, for example. Oh, it's multiple! I thought it was just going to lead into the same thing! Police is being generous with it. But maybe now that I fucked up, I'm not worthy of it. Oh boy, I'm so sorry, but for chats, I'm so sorry to chat, but just for me, like, I will watch this every single time. When the armor is gold, it's essentially phase 1.5, and he does the beckon instead of the purple wave. Okay, got it, got it, got it, that's good to know. It's also good to know that he's just gonna keep doing this, so I have to go around. Because I was just kind of taking it a lot easier before. What kind of Azriel shit is this? Yo, god of hyper death looking ass. I don't know. Like, I've drawn Fire Emblem armor. This looks much simpler to draw, to be completely honest. Yeah, that shit used to demolish me. The, the big, like, blast still does, but the rapid fire I'm finding it much easier to avoid. So I'm getting somewhere with this. Oh! Can I jump into him, damage him, or is that only with electric enemies? I think it's only with electric enemies. So, like, that was some damage that he did not need to take right there. Fake out! Oh, I didn't know he was gonna do it back to back to back! You should still shoot him when he has the lightning armor on because that's what triggers the counterable attacks. Okay, got it. There's so much to this battle already to, like, absorb. To absorb through my hand with a scary purple Metroid glow. And then my eyes with hyper-realistic eyelashes and eyebrow hairs get really, really wide. Nope, not yet. Not time yet. Oh, I was a little too soon! I wanted it too bad. So if I do the charged missile shot, like the hold R thingy... Did 
Does that make the black hole die faster? Because I could start charging that when he starts charging his. And that would give me an opportunity to, um... Dismiss it faster, if that's actually the case. Alright. It's not gonna get much better than this. No come hither? Damn. I really, really want to see what it was. The other counter looked so cool. I don't want to miss out on anything like that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to shoot. So it's two and then you start shooting. But I guess I didn't do any damage, so at least I'd be able to try it again. Oh. Why would I crouch for that? Why would I crouch? Oh my god. This is it. I know what to do. Oh, okay, but then it just goes back. Whoa! Wait a second! Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, delay! Delay! Did you guys see how high his leg went? Hold on. I need to go into that video and then I need, I need to take a screenshot of that video and then save it. Oh my god, my fucking Switch album's gonna be a mess! That shit. That shit right there. Jesus fuck! And then he's gonna hit me with this! No, just use regular missiles on the black hole. Got it, thank you. So is there, like, some sort of telegraph that you can read to tell when he's going to do the big blast versus the little blast? Because I don't see very much indication of which it's going to be until it's, like, too late. Like, it's so sudden! It's really difficult to prepare for. Like, even if that one didn't take as long to charge up, it's still easier to avoid. I always get greedy when he's right above me. Maybe subconsciously I just really want him to step on me. I wouldn't even say subconsciously, that's just in the, the foreground of my conscience. I think this is the longest that I've lasted, though, if that means anything. I guess I can be hitting him with regular shots if I so please. Oh, I really should not be trying to get greedy. Wait! <gasps> the wing! No! Sephiroth moments? Jesus fucking Christ! <gasps> oh, why is it the sun? 
Oh my god. The power bomb gets rid of the black hole instantly. That seems like overkill, though. Don't need this one anymore. You could keep it for, you know, the hot factor. He just really wants, like, the symmetrical look. It's like, man, it's ruined my whole getup. This, none of this outfit works anymore if I only have the one wing. I'm not reconfiguring my whole wardrobe for this. You know, maybe... Maybe Samus is in the wrong here. Maybe nobody should be taking any wings off to begin with. duck for that now, I don't know why. There seemed to be a point when I understood the distinction pretty damn clearly, but... Yup. Yes, sir. Need to see that leg again? Yup, thank you. I like that you can use that to hit the second phase a lot sooner. You can like fast forward it, that's cool. Yeah, power bomb the sun ASAP, learn from my mistakes. Well, the sun sounds like a good idea. Um, I just specifically mean the, um, the regular black holes in the first phase. Because some whoever in chat said that said black holes, not the sun. Although I guess suns do turn into black holes. Maybe that'll happen with this one. You know, one attack turns into another. I cannot help but just look up at this man's... Can you... Guys! Can you imagine what's going to happen to me the instant this model hits model's resource? Somehow I don't think this is going to be a Sonic 06 situation where the sneezes save me. Yeah, you want to get it from the underside when they're doing that, like, circle of, of rapid fire. Because when, when you fall to the bottom, you've got gravity on your side and that gives you, like, the biggest lead. That gives you, like, a little bit of time to shoot up. Without being punished with a slam. At least just yet. So if I want to get low to the ground, and I want to do it fast... Oh, shit! Oh, it's so sad. But would it be smarter to hold down on the analog stick or to use ZL? Because I find holding down on the stick is kind of unresponsive. But I don't know if ZL is any better. Fucking leave me alone, man! I only got so much health! I want to see what this is all about before it's, I lose it all over again. Boy, he's really shoop de whoop in my ass, huh? Okay, we're back to this shit then. So, and then you hold Y, and then you do this. Oh, fuck! Oh, jeez. The way it, like, distorts the frame. There's, like, a really cool screen distortion effect when that happens. Okay, back to this. At least this gives me, like, health for hitting it, though. Ow! I'm playing this, like, way more cautiously now, unfortunately. Oh, 
Ugh. At least the sun gives you, like, some health back for breaking it. God, he just hits you so fucking hard, though! And you're given, like, less time to prepare for the, the counters, too. Like, he really just likes to come at you with them. Ow! This is, like, big advancement, though. Last time I got to this phase, I, like, died instantly. This music, man! Missed all those shots, great. See, before when the black hole showed up, he would always follow it up with, like, come close to me, and now he follows it up with get the fuck away from me. So it's a very nice, like, teaches you one behavior and then you have to unlearn it. It's a good fake out. Activate. Yeah, that. The thing that I just said, that. <gasps> what now? Did I hit it? Oh! That was nasty. I'm gonna need to get this thing. See, now it's the come close to me again. What is the wall? That's new. That's new. Oh my, the way he pulls off of the wall like that, that turnaround is so hot. There it is. Oh shit. <gasps> no, don't suck him! <gasps> His hand is so big. but like tighter please though oh my god screenshot of that. Maybe cut back one more time? Well, good ending. Cool game. I love Metroid Dread. <gasps> oh my fucking god! This is how Kirby games end. HOLY SHIT HER DESIGN! Hey folks, viewer mail time again! Oh, here's one from Sally, age 14. <clears throat> Dear Pig, aren't you interrupting the story at the most suspenseful part? Well, the answer is yes, Sally. Yes, I am. Keep those cards and letters coming! That was like the perfect length of the loading time. Holy shit! Look at her! He's still cooking? Oh, he's like bald now. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> Wait, maybe he'll get hot now? Yeah, he'll get- he'll have the fucked up monster mouth and then I- oh. Wait, okay. Okay, maybe he's hot again. But would you? I can't- why 
can't even take the shot! Oh, I gotta have to charge it, dumbass. It's like the Emmy. I feel like there's some sort of in-between state where he gets, like, a little fucked up. I'm like, alright. Hmm. I'm wondering if I want to just let this play again so I can, like, give myself time to think about how I'm supposed to control this. Because I was making the little reticle go blinky, 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 but I have so many offensive options at my disposal, I'm not sure which to use. They do a great job of transitioning stuff like that, like, right into gameplay, like, super seamlessly. Oh, so you don't hold any triggers, you just charge Y. Boom, got it. Holy shit! Wait, so does, does this mean that I that I just won? Did I do it? I feel like Samus got like a little huger too. Y'all notice that? I feel like there are some people who are gonna go nuts for that. Is this just Oh god, it's an escape sequence! <laughs> I'm going the wrong way! I don't have the flash dash anymore, my abilities are different. I guess I lost all my upgrades. I got physical amnesia or some shit. I can still do this. I don't know where I'm going. Up. I'm going up. I'm going up. Go up. Please. Oh, God. I mean, this is cool that I'm, like, overpowered as fuck, but I, <laughs> I'm gonna get lost and I'm gonna die and I'm gonna get sent back. I know it. And it's, I'm gonna, like, ruin the cool moment. It's gonna be like Ori in the Blind Forest all over again. I think this is where I'm going, I don't know. Emmy Zone? Fuck out. Fuck out? Fuck off, maybe? Get the fuck out of here? I don't know why there's no door there. Well, shouldn't have killed Adam. Oh, the Morph Ball form looks cool too now. Stop it! I really, really, really wish I had the flash dash right now. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going. I have to charge this now? Do I have to do this? No, yeah, that door's locked. I'm going down here. I'm going down here. I think? I don't know! Oh, don't you with the faster beeping! This is so fucking stressful! The controller's vibrating so violently right now! I have never felt the Joy-Con go this hard. This is like a snake pass. Duh? Oh, oh, there's a tiny hole, tiny hole! There's a hole. Where do I go? Do I need to do this into it? <gasps> I don't have time to scan! It's vibrating harder! Samus, get the fuck out of there! Wouldn't it be really funny if I chose now of all times to stop and fill in, like, the squares? Don't make me do the fucking puzzle. The door! <laughs> Is that the ship? Is this where I need to be? Nope. Oh, there's no making this. Wait! <gasps> Wait! Zero seconds on the clock! <gasps> Who? <gasps> Adam! I have claws now? This is a great day for lesbians the world over. <gasps> Did he, 
Is he, is he ex-parasited right now? Oh, no, wait, 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 he's okay. Oh, no! Thanks, I guess, but I'm, I'm still a little bit sad. So does this mean that the, the hot new vi Oh, he's gonna blow up on the planet! I'm I'm like fucking saluting right now. Yeah, Ravenbeak did nothing wrong! Yeah, Sakamoto, I think, is, is the guy in the interviews that I was talking about earlier. Um... Wow, that was kind of like abrupt credits. I think it'd be nice if there was maybe a little more that happened after she left, but um... No, he was... Eviscerated by Samus. But he was supposed to eviscerate me! <laughs> I didn't want to be forced to do this! Maybe they're going for like a... Fucked up... Last of Us Ludo narrative shit where they want to force you to do the wrong thing. It's like, whoa. Isn't, doesn't this make you think about morality in video games? The ending is a little abrupt. Yeah, I wish they also fleshed out Ravenbeak's character more. I wish Ravenbeak would flesh out my... You know what? The, it's past. The, it's past. But like, the way I busted out this as like a bit... Like, I feel like the, like this game just did the equivalent of that. As close as they could get to it. Um, yeah, this game fucking ruled, though. Um, people always speak so highly of 2D Metroid, and uh, it's it's cool to see people come back to it with like fresh perspectives, and uh, and it still fucks. Uh, b before this, my only experience with the series was the first Metroid Prime, but yeah. So I've tried one 3D game, and now I've tried one 2D game. And I'm glad that I like both flavors, because sometimes there are series that make the leap, and and I only like the before ones or the after ones, but it, it feels good to be able to like to like both. Um, and yeah, this I mean it definitely gives me an interest in the um, the other 2D installments as well. Um, in the near future, as far as other Metroid stuff that I'd want to check out, I probably want to finish the Prime series first, but. Yeah, just in general, like, Prime doesn't connect to very much. Like, this is the main- the 2D games are the main series, and then Prime is, like, in between some of the games. So that- that always takes a back seat, but... There's, like, some- some interesting ideas that they went for here. For, like, where the rest of the series could go, and, um... Yeah, I'm really interested in seeing what comes of it. Voice edition Drax audio. Does that mean that that was like the, the synthesized voice that they made? I'm very curious to see what my uh, item completion is going to be by the end of this, though. Because uh, I, I think saying it was going to be 60 at least is like not happening. I thought there was going to be like a little more exploration. On the way to Ravenbeak, I didn't realize I was right, right there. Um, I would have liked to do some some more backtracking, but I think at the same time I'm happy with the amount that I did. Because once you get to that stage and you you find all the items, the only reason you would want to go back and 100 percent it, aside from just the self satisfaction of doing it, is to like better prepare yourself for the boss battle. So. Maybe I feel good that I did it, that I won, with less. And then and it only took like an hour. I was expecting this to, to be to take like way longer. One hour is a victory on my behalf. It's weird to see the IQ brand in a, in 2021. That they're still doing that for some reason. This is great credits music, too. I really want to, um... Check out the soundtrack after this as well. Maybe. Maybe I'll put it on while doing a galaxy gra gallery. A galaxy growlery. 
while while drawing Ravenbeak. Smile. Yeah, this boss is crazy hard. I think it took me longer my first time. Wait, so Sam, you're saying that I just beat the final boss faster than you did? Like, of all people than you did? Like, I just want to make sure that I've got that clear, because if so, I am going to take that and run. You can choose to lie if you want, if you don't think I deserve to take it and run, but I'm, I'm leaving the choice in your hands. All right, what's the number? Eleven hours forty-two. That's actually not that bad. I was seeing people post times that were closer to like eight or nine hours, and I thought it was gonna be way over that. But eleven is actually pretty close to what most people have been getting. See you next mission. No, I think you really did. I didn't catch on to most of the counter opportunities. Plus the sun in the final phase can be killer. That's true, that's true. Um, but I'll give you this, Sam. I'm actually not gonna take it and run because I, I wouldn't be nearly as good at that battle if I didn't have your advice. Cause you were giving me the advice of somebody who already won. And so I could like take that to heart. If I didn't have that, I'd be like floundering and flopping a lot more. Oh, there's, like, cool artwork, too! This is nice! I don't know why it's, like, just of zero mission, though. HARD MODE! This game does not need a hard mode, Jesus Christ. Yeah, 52%. That shit did not budge, let alone get anywhere near close to 60. Um, anyways... I think what's, uh... Interesting, though, is, um... There's been, like, like discourse about, like... Nintendo releasing a 2D platformer for $60 in 2021? So not worth the price. Um, no, this game fucking ruled, and the production value was through the roof, and they made a really hot bird, so I say that I got my money's worth. Um, damn, that's cool. There hasn't been, just in 2021 in general, too many, like, major AAA releases that I've wound up looking forward to, but, uh, Man, this might be, like, one of my goaties, for sure. Like, we're kind of close to the end of the year. I can't even think of anything huge for me, except for maybe, like, I don't know, Brain Age? So this might be what I just wind up rooting for come December, when when Jeff Keighley tries to make his stage look like a Metroid level, and then a, a Gillette commercial dressed as Emmy comes up and tries to shave him. It's just zero mission because you get more artwork the faster you beat the game. Okay, cool. I assume that that Samus takes her helmet off and gives you a, a little smile if you uh, if you go super duper fast as well. However, I am I am not the sort of person to be motivated by rewards like that. He, here's what they should do: you get to the end of the game, they give you a secret ending that's just like a fucking raven beak strip tease, and he keeps the wings on and the mask on. That's what I say. Anyways, that was Metroid Dread for tonight. Um, I'm not sure what's coming up next. I only said in the stream schedule something else if there's time. Uh, we've got a couple of options on the table, actually. And I was uh, hoping you guys would join me on that journey. So I was thinking that uh, I could just go back to Sonic Heroes, start the dark story. Um, I think I've got Fez on here. Um, but I'm not really interested in like starting anything new, necessarily. Um, and I don't know where my phone is, but maybe this is spoilers, maybe, for something later this month. Because, again, my schedule's so fucking weird right now. I wish I could, like, give you guys a concrete, like, answer to, like, when I can stream and when I can't. But, uh, there, were, there was some Fire Emblem Hero stuff that I wanted to do. I still haven't done Book 3, and I was hoping to get it somewhere within October, because it's, like, a Halloween-y thing. But, um, that would be, like, a one-off, so th there's, there's time for that whenever. Um... Chat seems to be on Sonic Heroes' side. I'm seeing some Pog Champ. I'm seeing some Hog Champ. Um, I'm down for Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes, at least, is something where like I generally know what I'm doing. Sonic Heroes is pretty easy going. Uh, all right, I'll fire that up and I'll BRB for a bit. Um, thank you very much for joining me for Metroid Dread and uh, BRB. I'll see you guys in a bit.
This is such ominous Klonoa music. I'm gonna have to do so much work cleaning up my screenshot gallery. This shit is so... This is so full! Wait, I'm gonna come back from the BRB? The, the, the final count? I'm so mad that I got this screenshot instead of, like, this closer up shot of his face. Yeah. Alright, BRB.